core of the city of Regina, Saskatchewan, lies the neighborhood of North Central. 10,150 people live in this neighborhood. 42% of them are of First Nations ancestry. 25% of them are under the age of 15, giving the area the largest population of children in the city. 30% of the residents depend on government assistance. The average household income, 49,000, is half the city average. 41% of residents have less than a high school education, and only 9% possess a university degree. There is 20% unemployment. The local food bank deals with more than 9,000 requests each month. In addition to the poverty issues that plague residents of North Central, the community is also a hotbed of crime and violence. From 2005 to 2006, there were 16 murders in the city of Regina. 15 of them occurred in North Central, and half remain unsolved. In 2013, there were 739 violent crimes, 1,153 property crimes, 150 drug crimes, and 92 prostitution crimes in North Central alone. Although only 5% of the city's population lives in North Central, the neighborhood accounts for 25% of all 911 calls. say one sentence about the justice system in Canada, how would you describe it from your perspective, sir? Oh, no, they pretty fail it, pretty much. Pretty like, fail? Yeah. And how so, sir? You see, it's stuff on the street, eh? like, mm -hmm. they, don't really, they don't really take, take that take it seriously, serious, eh? they just brush it off, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like you see all the time in this neighborhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've lived here for a long time? My whole life, yeah. Actually, I did just try to make you deals and stuff, oh, like, yeah. get you into the... Interesting. Right. Sentencing and stuff. Interesting. Right. Pretty much mess, messy over. You think they just you know, put money on their, on their plates? Yeah. You can't get close to them. No, you don't know their aim. You don't know their mission. No. So as soon as they are coming, like they are coming to pay, the other one, you are just going to open the door yeah. wide. Then, then that one just uh, <laughs> run outside. And there was a yes. time that uh, yeah. like. Uh, Charity organization, uh -huh. they put like a box of money in uh, okay. this stuff. So then he just went to the back to grab some stuff. Yeah. Then he heard the door open. Yeah. So all of a sudden, normally they are, and the money is almost full. Yeah, I think uh, one of the staff says that they stabbed him, I think it's the last year. Yeah. He was stabbed because one oh, guy yeah. came in, he grabbed some stuff, he doesn't yeah. want to pay, and I said, Oh, you have to pay. And then uh, the guy stabbed, uh, stabbed yeah. the guy, then they run out of yeah, the yeah. So something like that. A week ago, yeah. there was a lady that used to. Always, she used to come with uh, with the kids. Yes. Okay. Maybe like three, four kids. Yeah. So you know, when the kids are starting um, running around, yeah. that's the time that she was still. I was standing right here, mm -hmm. then she grabbed chocolate bar, yeah. yeah, and she pocketed it right in front of me. <laughs> like, what can you do for you to be coming here with the kids? Yeah. Whatever you are doing now, yeah. when you are not here, the kids will come here. They will do the same thing because they yes. think that you are teaching them the right stuff. Yeah. I think they're fair. I think they're fair, but I, I think there's a lot of places they need work with. More communication, oh. more, more helpful. I mean, I'm 18 myself, and you know, I, my parents come from residential schools and stuff like that. So we, we don't like cops too much. My cousin's a great gang here. Right. And stuff. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. I mean, yeah. we're, I'm living too, so I'm, yeah. we're, we're well looked after here. I went to this bar. Yeah. We had a few drinks. Yeah. yeah. They arrested me. I, I, I got bruises on my arm right now. Yeah. Still from the cops. So the one cop had a real bad attitude. Yeah. No dickhead. Call him a dickhead. Yeah. yeah. I said you're a dickhead for a cop. <laughs> yeah. What and he had me handcuffed. Takes the cops off. Says let's go one on one. No, I said let's do it, bud. Let's do it. You yeah. throw the first swing. I said there was like 20 of us, and there's seven of them. But but then they, when he took the cops off, we knew it was game on. Right? Yeah. We were ready for it. Right. All of a sudden, I got whacked across the back of the head. Yeah. Flashlight or something. But the police are nothing but assholes. They're there to help. Yeah. I seen a lady 
at the Greyhound station a couple of weeks ago to pick up the parcel. Mm -hmm. It was cold out. Yeah. The lady was in the was home. So yeah. We took her right out, you know, and she had slippers on and treated her like a piece of shit. And mm -hmm. so I went, I gave her 10 bucks. I said, get yourself a coffee. So, you know, I said, it's called respect, bud. We're driving a police, I don't really care for it. I was working at Dollarama and um, I was on conditional sentence order and one of my friends came in and stole oh. and I didn't know that. And I went to trial and everything and yeah. the cop said that like I was stealing. Somebody had to get it pinned on, mm -hmm. so I got it pinned on me. And I went to trial, I took it to trial, I did try to. to fight it, but like it. all they seen was a native woman. So I went to jail for nine months and I had to leave my son and I wasn't stealing, like, I was behind the till. So what happened to your son? Uh, he was with his dad, okay. but he didn't know me when I got out. And it was, like, really, like, devastating. Mm -hmm. Six years ago, I was left, I was beaten, left for dead, and raped, and couldn't walk or nothing. I don't even know if they caught the guy. Did you report it at all? Oh, I did, and you know what, he was a serial. Serial rapist. Yeah. Uh, he got away. He was stole there ever my. A case no, at all? I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is he attacked yeah. several women right. and he killed one woman. Wow. I was one that survived. survived. I crawled to the road and almost got hit by a car. I had a concussion. I lost my memory. Uh -huh. And I still have not gained uh -huh. it back. Yes. I live with all these injuries that I have to live with. No justice. Now you're living, living, renting a house in, in North Central. Yeah. So what's one last sentence you might say about justice in Canada? It's not the best, but it works. Okay, okay. Thanks very much. Yeah, okay. Very cool, man. Yeah.